What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Ike from the Ike and Rome Show with the No Line, No Shine Network. Tonight, we will be featuring a special defensive lineman from the University of Nevada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Wolfpack's in the house. Let you know something else. Shaw Dogs, also in the house. Graduated from Crenshaw High School, L.A. Finest. DG in the house. He's going to be with us tonight. I want y'all to come on in, man. Come on in. Chime on in. We want to appreciate the platform again. Mr. No Line, No Shine himself, Dominique Thomas. We appreciate the platform uh, for us coming on here and, and talking to these young men that's in the trenches. Yes, in the trenches. I don't know if you guys are watching the draft, but it's money being made in the trenches, baby. You can't, you can't shine without the line. Yes. Yes, indeed. Big shout out to you. What's up, bodyguard? Damo, Ace Boo, what's happening, y'all? Y'all time in, man. Tonight is going to be fun, man. We're going to invite everyone on live tonight. Invite him on no line, um, underscore, no shine. On IG, we're going to go IG live, and we're going to break it down for you. What's going on, DJ? Seven Moose, what's happening, baby? DJ, DJ going to be on this tonight, man. Mr. Daniel from uh, Nevada, University of Nevada Wolfpack. We're going to talk to him about what it is to be a, a defensive lineman in the trenches in the D1 era, coming from a all city ball playing at um, Crenshaw High School with the big rival of Crenshaw Dorsey. How was that? We want to know how, how did he get out of L.A.? What are some of the obstacles, obstacles he had in his life to overcome that helped him, help him to get to the position where he's at right now? Everybody want to go D1. Everybody want to play some ball. Tonight, we're going to talk to Mr. Daniel himself, and he's going to let us, know, let us know, let you know, right here on No Line, No Shine with Ike from the Ike and Rome Show. Man, again, we appreciate y'all for giving us the opportunity. Damo, Shaw Dogs, always in the house. What's going on, Mike Madison? How you feeling? Hope all is well, man. God bless y'all. Uh, I don't know if you guys watching the draft, like I say, man. There's some linemen, old linemen, D linemen. They making money. Yes. They getting scholarships. Yes. Remember that time when you wanted to play Pop Warner football and they said you was too big. You was too heavy. You couldn't play. They made you go go play in something else, another sport. Maybe you had to play flag in middle school. It's changing right now. The game has changed. You can't shine without alignment. So, again, we're not waiting on Mr. Daniel. Mr. Daniel in the building. DG, where you at, baby? Let me see if he's on here. I want to give a shout-out to everybody that's coming on. Team Marietta, what's going on? What's going on, King? No line, no shine. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Again, we want to share. We want to tell your friends and family members to come on, on, come on in. And if you guys have questions tonight for Daniel, feel free to type them in. I'll try my best to look down and have them answer those questions for you. For those of you... Uh, here for the first time, we'd like to welcome you to the No Line, No Shine Network. Every Thursday night, we will be highlighting your top defense and offense alignment throughout the country. Yes, indeed. Team Marietta, what we got? Yes, you had to go wrestle. You had to go box. You could play basketball, but you couldn't play football because you was too big. But right now, it's your time to shine. Yes, indeed. All right, I'm looking up here. I'm just trying to. Nicholas, what's going on? God bless y'all, man. God bless y'all for coming in and tuning in to us. Daniel, we waiting on you, DG. Talk to me. Where you at? Shout out, Mr. Shout out himself. <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of great athletes that came out of Crenshaw High School, man. A lot of good coaching. Got a lot of it's a great area. People always talk about how tough it is in LA. Man, you need to talk about how good it is. It's more good going on uh, in these different areas. And don't let the media hype you up and make it seem like it's all bad. No, it's more good people than bad in those areas. You might have a couple bad apples. That's anywhere. You go to South Dakota, you got problems. All right? So anyway, where you at, DJ? Is he on here? Lorenzo619. Is that Dago? Much love to you, man. Appreciate you for coming in, tapping in with us. Let me see if I got Daniel on. D, if I can get you on, I'm, I'm going to bring you all in. 
Damo, holla at him. Make, make sure we touch bases with him. Make sure at the end of that everything is all right. Sometimes we have little technical difficulties, but it's going to be all right. Yes, indeed. Again, this is Ike from the Ike and Rome show. Motivation Mason, what's going on? 8 9, what's happening with you, Doc? Hope all is well. God bless you. Thank you guys for tuning in. No line, no shine network with Ike from the Ike and Rome show. Just waiting on that DG right now. He's going to tap in with us again. University of Nevada, Wolfpack, in the building tonight. Now, now I don't. Did you guys know before you come in that before the drafts, people already have an idea, a huge idea, at least the first seven picks of where they're going. Just to let you guys know that Trevor Lawrence knew he was going to be the first pick. So I wa I'm just letting you guys know that, and I'm going to give you a little history of who, who I am. I did play college football, University of Oregon, some time ago, and very much so acclimated to what's going on in the sports world today, from Pop Warner, AAU, to high school, college, collegiate level, even in the NFL. A lot of friends that's coach, coaching uh, college ball now. So and we talk, communicate, and so... If you have an agent, more than likely that the, the school, the university, I mean, the, excuse me, the professional team will talk to your agent and they'll let you know if you will be a first rounder, second rounder, and then preferably if you will be in the top 10, the top 15 in the draft. They'll let you know that. And they'll know how much money you'll be making. So don't just guess those things. I know it's a dream for you, but when you wake up, those dreams become reality. And so you need to know who you're talking to. All right? That's just a little nugget from Ike, Uncle Ike. All right, man, Damo, where we at? DG, you in the building? Let me see some hearts if you're in the building. Ace Bach, 21, what's going on? It's Ike from the Ike and Rome Show on No Line, No Shine Network. Wait, no, Mr. Daniel. That's Yak. 44, Nevada, University of Nevada, Woodpack, D-Line. Ooh, who got the best high school lineman coming out right now? Mr. Mike, was that a statement or was that a question? <laughs> Money man, what's going on? Who has the best high school lineman coming out? Money man, want to drop in? I'll holler at you. Let you come in, check me out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, yes, indeed, DG in the house. I'm going to bring him in to you. This is what we've been wanting. We've been wanting the funk from Nevada. He's coming to you live on the No Line and No Shine Network with Ike from the Ike and Rome Show. Here we are together. Where you at, DG? Waiting on you. Drum roll. Franchise that has not been What's that? There he is. <laughs> What's going? I see your taper, man. You looking sharp. You, you. Oh man, I ain't even got one. I'm just feel me. So happy right now. You got the fresh cut. Nah, this ain't fresh. It's about a, it's about a week old type shit. You dipping? Let me see how you living, man. You dipping? Shit, trying to. <laughs> you know what, man? That, that that's important. But we gonna get to that. But before we get to that, man, I want I want everybody out there in IG land let you know, man. We have a very very important, significant young man from Los Angeles. Uh, he's from the city, uh, represented us very well. He had an opportunity to get a full scholarship at the University of Nevada Wolfpacks. Nevada Wolfpacks, um, they did something special this year. I don't know if you guys was watching them, but they was on TV every weekend. And Mr. Daniel was doing his thing every weekend, putting it down. Yep, yep. Yeah. He had much love from uh, Coach E. Scott was over there at the time, I believe. Romeo Dobbs from Jeff. And amongst uh, other guys from Norbon and, you know, just a whole bunch of city guys that had fun. But I want you to put your hands together for one of the best linemen in the country, I believe, defense linemen in the country. Mr. Daniel Graciak, what's going on, DG? What's good? Holla at me. Hey, man, shit, we just chilling, watching the uh, watching the draft, you feel me? How, how you feel, man? Do it make you nervous watching the draft, being that you're almost, you got a couple years, and then that'll be you. 
Low key, I mean, so I'm just, I just be trying to work. You feel me? I don't really be looking too much in the future. I just be trying to focus on the present. You know, ain't nothing really, ain't nothing really to do. But you feel me? Just grind right now and then see what happens. So what, 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 what's your day like, man? What are you doing during the week, throughout the week, D? Uh, uh, prepare we got, yourself. We got, we got practice. Uh, four, four days a week. Uh, I got class. I got like two classes on uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays. Got a class on Monday, Wednesday, but you know I'll be up hella early, and then, you know just just grinding. You feel me? I'll be, on the right. game. be playing the game a little bit. You feel me? A little. I P5 see. Right. At the Xbox or the, or the PS? I got the P5. You feel me? P5. Woo! So, the yeah. P5. You got skills? Or are you just on it practicing? Nah, I'm hard. You might, I'm the, homies, the homies in the chat they tell you. Is that what? Hey, player on the team. Hey, is DG nice like that, y'all? Is he nasty? Let me know. If he nice, okay, let me know, too. I'm about, to, I'm about to get down with you after this. After we I interview you, I'm about to see what it's working with. Shit, they in here. I don't know. They not saying nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> do, me, do me a favor, man. Could you explain to us, man, how did you get out of L.A.? How did you, uh, how did you escape the streets, man? Uh, Shit, I was just... um. At first, my senior year, I ain't getting no offer or nothing. So uh, I was about to go to Elko. I was about yeah. to go to El Camino and walk on. I, don't know, I was about to go to El Camino. But then E. Scott hit me and was like, hey, uh, I got a spot for you. I ain't even had no position at the time. You feel me? I always played DN, but I ain't even had no position at the time. So E. Scott hit me. He was like, shit, just come up here. See, we're going to try to throw you around some spots. This was like uh, – April type shit. So I'm thinking I'm I'm going to Elko at the at the time. You feel me? Right. And East guy hit me, so I'm like, boom! I'm just gonna walk on. I walk on. I'm playing tight end. You feel me? And then boom! I do my little thing. You feel me? I get my little scally in like yeah. a year. But uh, then I end up switching the defense. And what's crazy is uh, East Scott brother told me he was like that shit gonna happen. He was like, you feel me? They gonna find out I can play some defense. And then shit, I end up moving. I ended up moving back, so cool. everything worked out smooth. You feel me? Everything That's amazing, man. What 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 middle school did you go to, D? Well, middle school, shit. At first, I, I went to Gompers, and then I went to uh, Paul Revere. Okay, let me let me let y'all know something about that, man. In IG Lamb, Gompers is one of the coldest middle schools in the in the doggone universe. Hell yeah! <laughs> what I mean by that, man, you gotta have some tough skin to get through Gompers. Hell yeah. <laughs> couple schools, there's a couple of schools in LA, junior high, middle schools, man. You gotta be tough. One is Gompers, two is Bethune, you know, these Markham. What's, what, what's it right there on Florence? Uh, 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 Florence and what? Florence and uh, like 8th Ave. I'll be forgetting. I ain't been in LA so long. Uh, Florence and 8th. Is that um, Horseman? Yeah, Horseman. 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 Um, there is another one right off on Vermont. If you can get, this is just off of Vermont and Slauson, in between Slauson and the Gage. If you can get through these schools, man, you're going to be all right. You're going you to be all right. <laughs> For real. For real. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. So back to the cut, man. Where you get your hair cut at? Who cut on the team? Uh, Shit, we got this boy. We got this uh, dude who used to play. He be cutting the homies, but shit, he don't cut me. I got my barber from Oakland. But okay. Stay out here now. Now, how important? How important, how important is that? Choosing a uh, you out of you out of town. When you come home, you know who your barber is, correct? Yeah. Barber so when you, the, bar, barber pull up to the crib every time. Right, right. So when you go when you go to college, how do you select that? How do you pick who cuts your hair and who can? Shit, at first, uh I got a hair I got a couple of haircuts out here. They kept fucking me up. I got my hairline <laughs> pushed back here one time. You feel me? I got I couldn't, bro. I was so pissed off, I ain't gonna lie. So I just finally found a barber. I just kept asking around, feel me? And I finally it took me like four or five barbers. But I finally got one. That's right. That's right. I, I got Coach Mike, Mike Madison on here, man, giving shouts out to everyone. Also, yeah, we want to make sure we give a shout out to Coach E. Scott. He's over there at San Jose. Uh, he left Nevada, not on a bad note, but on a, on a wonderful note. Yeah. He, he got, a, uh, I guess, a pay raise, and he keep it on extending his game, man. Hey, I can't be mad at him. <laughs> Can't be mad. He's That's a, my guy, though. That's love. That's love, for real. Nothing but love for East Scott, baby. All time. All time, man. So, so with you, Dom, Daniel, what, what, what made you, what made you want to play football? 
I know I, you, you you got good size, and I know you played a little basketball growing up. Yeah, but that shit, I was weak. You feel me? I was, I was, <laughs> I was, I was, I was weak at that. You feel me? I couldn't hoop. So, really, uh, really, I always, I always like football. Like, I ain't really played too much as a kid. I played one year at Pop Warner when I used to stay at Bakersfield. Uh -huh. But, uh. I was I was really I've been a fan of football, but you feel me? My mom wasn't really uh, wasn't really messing with it when I was a kid, so I didn't really get the freedom to play till like I was in high school. So when I was in high school, that's when I started really you feel me. I started really messing with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who? Yeah. What do you listen to? What get you ready before the game? Like what type of music? Oh, before the game, I'll be listening. I'll be listening to ignorant shit. I'll be listening to Love Fo, uh, Mozzie, Nip. Give me okay. A uh, no cap, little okay. baby, raw wave. I'll be listening to all that shit. Sometimes any underground, I'll, any underground cats you listen to? They get you right. Oh, you, I'll be listening to LA, LA. You feel me? DMV Gotti. Uh, okay. Bros. Uh, I'll be listening to all the little LA, LA niggas sometimes. That's right. Uh, what's your spot when you go? As soon as you get to the crib, man. As soon as you go home, what spot you go hit to get something to eat at? Everybody got a little small spot. Cal 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 they Cal go, Cal huh? California Fish Grill. Oh, Fox, what? Fox, Fox Hill Mall. That shit fire. <laughs> little garlic. I get the little garlic butter uh, white fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. That's right. That's and you know you L.A., you still call it Fox Hill, Fox Hill. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know you L.A. I, I think they renamed it like, when, what they call it? Westfield or something Westfield, like that? Westfield. Westfield. It's going to always be Fox Hill. Fox Hill. It's always going to be Fox Hill. Oh, sure. Always. What's your what's the number one NBA team, man? He said we need a hood spot. Hood spots, bro. Hood spots. We you gotta go to We Jamming, but you know you gotta be careful going over there. We Jamming fire. Uh, Doolin's on Manchester fire. Oh, do Inglewood. Yeah, on on Manchester. Brenda. Manchester got the best one. You feel me? Crenshaw is is all right. But Doolin's on yeah. Manchester fire. Ooh, I love some Doolin's. Uh, Mike Mike Madison, coach, stay away from Doolin's, Mike. Yeah, they fire. <laughs> that shit fire. Uh, let me think. I don't know. You feel me? I don't even be in LA. No, like that's. I gotta think. Yeah. It's a place and, called Taco Two Madre. It ain't in the hood though. But try that shit. Taco Two Madre. That where's shit. that at? It's like, it's oh, it's over like Chinatown type shit. It's up. It's okay. up on Crenshaw type shit. That shit. Okay. Fire. Well, you look at you, man. You trying to be nice with it? You go. You go down to Chinatown to expand your horizons. I mean, healthy. You feel me? I can't be eating all that shit. You know, I be eating healthy. I gotta. You feel me? Athlete type shit. I can't be. Who, who is the hardest offensive lineman you ever went up against? The hardest lineman I went against. Oh, challenging. Uh, it gotta be probably sixty-five from Fresno State. I don't okay. know his name, but he. You don't remember his name? I don't remember his name, but he. Hey, was big six-five. He going to the he going to the he he going I think he in the draft right now. He hard. Okay. He cold. What was good about him? Like what what was good about him? Was the technique? He was, was big as, he was big as fuck. <laughs> his, his feet. What's good, my boy? <laughs> he was big as fuck in his feet, you feel me? I I, I I got in his ass though, but you feel me? He was hard though. He was hard. And what 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 part of your game, Daniel, do you think you can improve on? Uh Shit, gain some weight. Uh -huh. Shit, keep 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 getting faster. You feel me? Keep working on stronger. Speed. Uh, okay. Work on my hands, type shit. And who who would you pattern like if we had a choice to get any player? Who would you pattern? And I don't like to say pattern your game after, but who do you your game remind you of that we know? Because uh, you slippery, you quick, you long. Uh, uh, sometimes when I watch me, I, I think of Hassan Reddick from the Cardinals. Okay, okay. He'd be pass rushing type. Yeah, I think him or uh, Oak uh, dude from dude from the Rams, number forty five. He used to play for oh. Oklahoma. O Ogabano, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ogabano, yeah, 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 yeah. Ogabano, yeah, yeah, or him. Yeah. It's about speed getting around that end. Yeah, they too fast guy. They under they they must they like same size as me. So okay, too. I want to actually say I'm the hardest tackle he had to hold. Hey, I, hey, he hard. My nigga <laughs> hard. He's my taste nigga. He hard. He, he One hard. athlete. You hear that? Big shout out to you, big dog. On me. Where, boy, where does he play at? Where does he play at? One athlete. Utah State. Square business, man. Hey, that oh, my boy Isaiah, man. Takes his shit. Much love, Isaiah, man. We appreciate you, man. Look, D, your last name, dog. You got to let us know. Like, tell, 
you, you got a whole bunch of letters in there, man, that we ain't never really been been used to. Yeah. Wait, where you get that? Where you get that last name from? Is on your mom, your grandma, your grandpa? I get, I get it. I get it from my pops. So my mom, my mom Nigerian, and my pops is European. Okay. Yeah. What, where where's pops from? He from uh Poland. So pops got him a sister. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And he got a Nigerian. Your pops a bad dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you? What's the correct way to pronounce pronounce it? How do you? How do you pronounce it? Greshik. Greshik. Okay. Greshik, yeah. I know you heard all kind of ways. I heard it all. <laughs> do you correct people when they make mistakes? No, nah, I just I don't. You feel me? Because if it was wrong, if it was, when I see a last name, I can't. I just you feel me? I'll be fucking it off too. So. <laughs> you feel me? I don't really be tripping. Then you got a girl in town, man. What's up? You out there girl. in Nevada, man. You said the what? Big, you got a, you got a, you got a little yaya out there with you, man. Or is she in LA? You free? What? They the world want to know. Hey, the world can't know. <laughs> <laughs> the world can't know. The world can't know. <laughs> they want to know, DG. How you living? All the young ladies they tapping in talking about what? Do we got a girlfriend? I'm like, I don't know. Ask them. Shit, the world can't know. We just gonna keep it at that. <laughs> Boy, you are. Hold up, man. Something got in my eyes. Ooh. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, dog. Where my boy Damo at? Damo better say something. Hold up. Let me get him. My boy Damo, I miss my butt. Here we go. Damo, man, been in the weight room trying to lose weight. When I look, I seen Damo on here, Daniel. He was picking up tires and running laps. Uh-huh. He lost about 150,000 pounds. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my, that's my little god brother, man. He said, what up? Hell yeah, what up, Dabo? He doing his thing, man. Hey, 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 I'm coming back uh, on Sunday. You feel me? So I'm going to be in the land, some shit. Tap in. I'm, I'm trying to go up to Crenshaw, see what, see what it's looking like. They got their whole shit renovated. Oh, the show there? Hell yeah, they got their whole whole little thing renovated. They look like, you don't even look like Crenshaw no more. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Now, if you could do it all over, man, would you go to Nevada? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Would you go to the Shaw? Would you go to Crenshaw? Yeah, for sure. Everything worked out perfectly. Like, uh, just the people I met at Crenshaw from BC, you feel me, to Rod. Rod, I ain't gonna lie, Rod was the biggest blessing. He didn't change my whole game. Like, you feel me, his coaching, you feel me, his coaching was crazy. I'm learning the same, the same shit I was learning uh, at high school, you feel me, I'm learning from my coach right now, you feel me. So wow. Rod, Rod was really hard. Wow. He he didn't put me on some shit. Sometimes I, I still be texting him sometimes. I'd be sending some film, be like, what would you do right here? You That's amazing. Me? Just to get Man, a different different. If you can give if you if you if you can give some pointers to a couple like little knuckleheads in the city or outside the city, what kind of pointer like focus pointers would you give them to help oh. them get yeah, yeah. What kind of pointers would you give? Like like either the, young boy or a young lady. Like on the field or like off the field? Off the on and off the field. Uh, off the field, man, it's a lot of distractions off the field. It's hard. I mean, you know, off the field, you just gotta. If you like football, you gotta put your all in the football. You feel me? You can't really get distracted too much shit. You there know you what I'm saying? Put the weed down. Uh, <laughs> say it, man. Put say the weed it. down. Get you a two point two point five or something. Come on. And shit, try to go to college because I didn't see. You feel me? College done. Changed my life. You feel me? So, on the field, for like a D lineman, I say, shit, use your hands, pass rush, get off the ball, throw your mm -hmm. move. You feel me? I love it, man. I, I ain't no coach, so. <laughs> no, 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 no. You got get AD. It's all love and it's all game. And sometimes you never know, man, what type of influence you have on other people. Sometimes you don't look at it like that, bro. Believe me, I've been there. I've been. To, I've, I'm from LA. You know, what I'm saying I'm from the city, and went to high school in Compton. All that played D1 ball, and you don't know the impact and influence you have on other people's lives, because you looking. You you're not looking at that. Like you just balling yourself. You know understand what I mean? Yeah. But young guys look up to you. You there where they want to be. You under, you understand what I mean? Yeah. They they got dreams and hopes, and they like, man, I want to be like him, and you there, so. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I appreciate you, man. You you know what I mean? You got a wonderful foundation. Stay out of trouble. 
Facts. Gotcha. Graduate. You know what I'm saying? Graduate and and have fun and enjoy it, man. Enjoy the journey, bro. It goes by fast, bro. Fast as hell. I can't believe I'm finna graduate this year. This shit be full by. What are you majoring in? Uh, public health. That's right. That's good. Stay around. Keep keep standing around. Keep standing around positive people, man. Hell Your yeah. old coaches. You know, tap into them, man. Tap into Damo, E. Scott. Go back to your principal. Tell them, man, I graduated, man. I need a job. The facts. <laughs> I mean, that's where, that's, it's that easy. And and you know what I mean? You never know. You might have to hire the next, my son. Facts. So do you, do you, you plan on going to the draft next year or what, what's what's the deal? Talk to me. Shit, I got, um, I got three seasons left. I want to do two. I want to do two and get up out of here. But I don't know. Like I said, I'm just, I'm in the moment right now. I've been, you feel me? I didn't, I, I didn't got better every year. 2018. Red shirt, 2019. I was on special teams and like Michigan. blocking. Yeah. This last year, you feel me? I got my feet wet. Start starting at the end of the year. Yeah. You feel me? This year, you know, we turning up this year. This is gonna be the you feel me? It's gonna be the breakout year. So, you know, what I'm saying. You got a uh, what's his name? Dominique over there with you, right? What's the kid name? Uh, uh, uh man, oh, Dom, Dom, Dom Peterson. Yeah. Dom, yeah, Dom, yeah, from Nor from Norbon. Yeah, that's my boy. We got hella people from the city. We got Big uh, Red, yeah. We got Dom, Lawson, Dayon, Verdell. Yeah, Verdell over there doing his thing from LA High. Yeah. Romeo. We got hello. hello Romeo Dobbs from Jeff, man. Y'all got some real some real guys, man. Hell yeah. Y'all from... keep it tight and make sure you network, bro. While you out there. Mm -hmm. Don't just hang with the same people. S spread your wings. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? I holler at you. I give you some game. I holler, I holler at you about some other stuff. You know what you can do, man, because the platform you got is outstanding. Uh -huh. And so, you know, you can just, all you gonna do is grow, continue to grow. Before we get out of here, man, what does no line, no shine mean to you, Daniel? Shit, it all started in the trenches. It all started in the trenches, you feel me? Uh, look, my boy Dom in here. My boy Dom just joined. But uh, What's up, Dom? Yeah, shout out, shout out the city one time. What's up, Big Red? What's happening with you? Shout out the city one time, but shit, no line, no shine, bro. Don't start in the trenches. I've been in the trenches since I started playing football. Like you feel me? And I still wasn't the biggest person, so you feel me? We don't get no shine. We don't get, we don't get, we don't get the shine like that. But you know, we putting the dirty work. You know, we the dogs. You feel DJ, me? well, you getting all the shine tonight, big dog man. I appreciate you. The city proud of you. We all proud of you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Have fun. Again, stay out of trouble. Network and do what you do, man. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you, bro. We we get back, man. We go get some steaks and, you know, A1 sauce and do it up. Hell, yeah. Shit. All right. Let me know. I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back next week. So, shit. Whatever. We going to do it up, man. You eat steaks and onions. You eat steak and onions, right? You said what? Steak and onions. We grill some onions and throw on yeah. there. It's good. Good barbecue on me. I ain't had a, I ain't had a barbecue in, like, I don't know how long since I've been. Well, back you know, when you go to college, they call hamburgers and hot dogs barbecue. Yeah, see, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I need. <laughs> I need some ribs. <laughs> some baked potato, beans. Potato salad and some beans, huh? You need some baked beans. You feel That's me? right. <laughs> DG in the house, ladies and gentlemen. LA Finest. Nevada Wolf Packs. Making it happen. Defense alignment in the trenches, man. We appreciate you again. Thank you for. Show us some love on the No Line, No Shine Network, big dog. Honey, love, love, love. Appreciate it. Much love, man. I'll holler at you, man. Be good. All right. And I'll check in. Tap in. All right. All right, bet. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. We out of here again. Great night to interviewing my man, DG. That's right. Shaw Dogs in the building. We appreciate the love, man. God bless y'all. Tune in uh, later on. I think we got a kid from Lawndale High School to go tap in with us. But every week, every Thursday night, we coming in and making it happen. Much love. I'm Ike from Ike the Wrong Show. We out of here. No line, no shine. In the trenches. Woo!